guys, here go to your plug-in deals and today I'm looking at trap hi-hat patterns. Trap hi-hats are everywhere at the moment, it's on pop music, on the radio, on Justin Bieber's latest album there was trap hi-hats on almost every single track. So it's a really good skill to have. If you can master it, it would be great for your career. In this video, I'd like to show you guys a few basics and a few tricks that I have when making trap hi-hats. So if you're someone who's struggling to get started, this video will definitely help you. For those guys who are more advanced, I'm going to talk a bit about the philosophy of hi-hats and what to avoid and what to try and do. Let's go straight into it, guys. I'm really excited to show you what I've learned. So I have this beat that I made and as you can see, it does not have a hi-hat. So it's perfect for our purposes today. The reason I've chosen this particular beat is because I really wanted something that was quite spacious and give us room to write kind of a complicated hi-hat pattern. This beat could have a bit more space, but it's, it's got a bit of a balance going, so I like, I like what's happening here. So what I'm gonna do is just create a MIDI region, and I'm gonna show you the first pattern. Um, this pattern I'm gonna show you, I call it the 16s. And the reason I call it that is because it is made up of 16th notes. Um, so what you have to do is set your grid to 16s, and literally just put a 16th note on every single, every single grid, every single place, just everywhere. And to be honest, if you only learn one pattern from this video, this is the only one you probably need. The 16s are almost on every, like a lot of number one hit singles have, have, have the 16s. I'm always surprised how easy it is to make the 16s and how good they sound. So if you're someone who's been struggling to get started, this is really all you need. And I guarantee you 80% of the songs on the radio are just using this. But I know you guys want a bit of a challenge, so I'm gonna show you a few of my tricks. Using the 16s as a starting point is a really good way to make sure you're never gonna go too far from home when you're making these complicated patterns. So I usually draw out something like that before I get started. The first thing I wanna show you guys is, I like to call them reloads. And that's because it sounds like a gun reloading. So on the second beat near the end, I usually just get this and then I just make it a little double. And that has the effect of giving, um, it's kind of like a shuffling sound, kind of like it's kind of catching up, like skipping. Let's listen to that, the reload. So that sounds really familiar to me. That's really like, this is, Trap 101 hi-hat. So, you know, just using the simple 16s, adding in a reload. The next thing I wanna show you guys would take that even further. Now these next techniques I'm gonna show you are a bit more, um, I'm gonna say they're risky, but I wouldn't use them too often. Because the thing is, with hi-hats, you don't wanna really bombard your listener with all these machine buzzing sounds. And, you know, although they can be really cool and impressive once in a while, if you have them all over the place, you're gonna lose your audience. So. With that in mind, check out these machine guns. And I call them that because they sound like a machine gun. So what I usually do is I use them like open hi-hats. So just on the beat before the snare, where there might have been an open hi-hat, I'll just, just have some 64th notes just going crazy. And let's just see how that sounds. So here we go, some machine guns. Right, I quite like that. But what I think would be work better if, if it was over here. So, you know, one of the things to remember when you're making these hi-hat patterns is try to be musical. And I wanna keep my powder dry as well. I don't wanna have all my tricks kind of showing off at once. So I'm just gonna keep this one as it was and I'm gonna put the 16s over here. So, it's gonna. Okay, for me, that's more musical than the first way I had it. because It's not too busy, it's once in a while, it's something to look forward to, and it's not dominating the track. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you another one. This one I call the Money Machines. Um, the Money Machines is quite similar to, to your machine guns, but instead we're using a triplet pattern. So triplets sound amazing, but they can also sound really bad if used incorrectly. Um, they have the effect of almost sounding like the beat is losing control or you're kind of at the end of something and it's winding up. All right guys, so I'm gonna set my grid to 16th note triplets and just at the end, I'm gonna put just six of them. Just six of them. Just, uh, just a little taste of some triplets at the end. And I'm really having a little bit of them just because I don't want to overwhelm the listener and kind of abuse the triplets. So let's listen to just the end of that phrase. 
So it's, it's subtle, but it really, really works. And it's a great way to kind of end your phrase and take it back. Okay guys, so we've had uh, reloads, machine guns, money machines. The next thing I wanna show you guys is how to take all of those techniques to the next level. And that is by adding pitch. When I'm making the reloads, I usually do this on the fly where I just have them kind of uh, doing the pitch already. Okay guys, so I've just put the reloads, just kind of going a little bit up and a little bit down. So it gives, even it emphasizes that skipping of it a little bit more. And at the end of these money machines, I really wanna make them stand out. So I'm gonna put this quite high up and then this one maybe right there. I'm not really going off the pitch of this, I'm just kind of going by the sound of it and how it, how it feels. So let's check out the new pattern, but with adding pitch. Not bad. So that's really it. All right guys, I'm sure you're gonna use these techniques to make some really great hi-hat patterns. And I'm sure you'll come up with some tricks of your own. Feel free to share those in the comments below. Just remember guys, keep it simple. Do not take it too far. You can easily lose your listeners by just putting in too many triplets, too many machine guns, lots of, lots of crazy spins. People, people usually like to relax when listening to music. So don't scare away your listeners. Don't let them hit the skip button on your song. All right guys, I hope you learned something here today. I definitely had a good time. So please hit subscribe and like, and I'll see you again.